folks, my name is Finna Bell Lee and I'm based in the Washington DC area. Today I'm going to share a fairly quick tutorial on how to hula hoop. And I mean literally how to hula hoop. How to keep the hoop on your waist and off the floor. This is the biggest challenge I find faced by beginning hoopers. They think that there's a big secret to keeping the hoop moving on your waist without having it fall every few minutes. Luckily for you, there's not a big secret. It's just a lot of practice and a few easy tips which I'll teach you today. One thing people always say to me when they see me hula hoop is they say, oh my god, Spinabelle, you're not even moving. What they don't realize is that I am moving. I'm moving in a front to back motion. It's actually my pelvis and abdominal muscles that are moving. Front to back, front to back. If you look at yourself in a mirror, you can see what it looks like. It looks kind of goofy. Luckily, when people look at you head on, they don't see that. They don't see any movement. People think that to hula hoop, you need to go back and forth, side to side like this, or move your hips in a circle like this. The reality is that doing either of those things, side to side, or in a circle, will cause your hoop to fall really, really quickly. The reason is that it throws off the momentum of the hoop and basically knocks it from side to side and down to the ground. You want a small controlled motion, which can be uh, created by your pelvis and abdominal muscles. So try moving front to back, front to back. Don't move your whole body, don't move your butt. Try to keep your back straight. Try to really keep your pelvis, the thing that's moving front to back. You'll kind of feel it in your abs at first, and actually even later, which is one of the reasons hoop hooping is such a great ab workout. <laughs> Woo! I hate crunches. Anyway, moving right along, give the hoop a swing, and this time really focus on moving front to back. If you're still having trouble, try closing your eyes and moving the hoop around you with just your hands. Feel that point and moment at which the hoop touches your belly button. It's when the hoop, the body of the hoop, is behind you. That is the moment when you need to press your pelvis forward. It helps to close your eyes because it gives you that much less to focus on. So each time the hoop hits my belly button, I'm moving forward. And that's what gives the hoop a push, which allows it to keep moving. If it starts to fall, you can try to move your hips in about a quarter circle. That is enough, but not too much, to give it a little extra push. If you keep moving in a circle, however, the hoop will fall on the ground. So if the hoop's starting to fall, you can give it a little swing like that. You see how I just moved my hips in a circle? just for a moment, that got the hoop back up. Now, another tip is that you can move with the hoop. When you move in the same direction as the hoop, so counterclockwise or clockwise, it slows down the momentum of the hoop, which allows it to keep moving. That's what we all want, isn't it? Now, if you move in the opposite direction of the hoop, it'll move faster. And it can be really hard to keep up. And that's the last thing you want to deal with right now. So, just to recap, try moving your pelvis forward and back, giving the hoop a little extra push with your hip if it's starting to fall, and moving in the same direction as the hoop. Now, finally, the biggest, most guaranteed way to get this is just to practice. So put on some music you really love to dance to and just try it. Do it on a carpeted floor if you can so that the tape of your shiny new hoop doesn't get all banged up while you're just starting to learn. And I promise you, with a few days of practice, you will absolutely be able to keep it around your waist in no time. Happy hooping!